Hi, Rebutonians. My name is Boris Juric, and I am the COO, or Chief Operating Officer of Revuto. Uh, we thought that this time maybe we should break a little bit from regular tech talks and make one not so tech talk because we thought you know a lot about our product and you hear about many details through many of our platforms that we provide for you, but you really don't know what's going on, so to say, behind the scenes of this wonderful product uh, that we are making for you. So in order to give you an idea, we decided to give you an overview of our, of our organization and also to give you a departmental overview after what I will do by heads of our departments that, you, that will follow in their talks. So let me start by saying that what I, when I joined Revuto, I really liked two particular things about it, which I now call two anchor points of our product. One is what I call idea versus problem. In my experience, uh, in my many years of experience in business, I've seen too many startups fail who are searching for an idea, spending a lot of time figuring out what the idea for the product should be. Much more success, more, much more natural way of doing is, is to actually have a problem and find a solution for it. This is exactly what happened with Revuto product. Two of our founders actually met in Silicon Valley, which is a really uh, cute story about our product, uh, complaining to each other about problems with subscriptions, how they f forget about subscriptions, how they overpay for subscriptions, and how overall they lose money and time on managing these subscriptions. They decided to challenge each other for let's say 48 hours and come back for a drink and discuss what the solution to the problem would be. After they met, Rooks and Vex realized that the solution to the problem was actually quite similar and they decided to invest and further develop uh, this product that now we are working on. And even uh, big CEOs like uh, Brian Chesky, who is the co-founder of Airbnb, said, you just have to find the solution to the problem in your life. And that is actually how this product then comes to life. Another uh, thing for us is this crypto versus non-crypto world. The premise for our application is that it should work in both worlds. So even if the crypto did not exist, uh, our application would have life, right? So it would have uh, the same path of developing as it is right now where we are in the crypto world. Also, if there wasn't application and only crypto world existing, application would have its life. In life, normally, obviously, one plus one equals two. But in business, it is many times the case that synergies bring actually more. Uh, imagine maybe, you know, uh, uh, an organization who is working only in the United States, an organization working only in Europe, merging, and then uh, they create the environment and extra resources that they can expand to the rest of the world. So if they had 40 million euros turnover for US and Europe, now they have 60 million euros because they expanded to the world. So that's, that's something that is really, really important in our product, that it has these two lives and that it's targeting crypto and non-crypto world. These two anchors, solution to the problem and crypto plus non-crypto usage, actually give utility to our token, hence in long term much larger value of the token. And they also give life, 
scalability and longevity to our application. My role as a COO is very peculiar in a way. Uh, while other C-suite roles are normally connected exactly to the work that this person is doing. For example, chief financial officer is strictly in charge of finance and administration of the company, or chief marketing officer is in charge of the marketing of the company. The COO role is more defined in relation to chief executive officer and his needs. So for me, I feel like I'm taking on responsibilities as a founder and I'm in charge of solving the problems like the founder. And even before I had a chance to optimize what's already there, when I came in, I had to take on accountability for making the business run uh, smoothly. And that's something that makes my work similar uh, to the CEO's work. And the bottom line is that the role of CEO is to take things off the founder's plate. So here I'm presenting you organizational chart of our company. As you can see on the left side, I pointed out uh, the functionality or the description rather of, of each uh, row that you see. So the first yellow row are our founders, Marco, who is the CTO, Vex, who is the CEO, and Josipa, who is a CBO, Chief Brand Officer. Uh, the line below is the executives, Dorian, who is our, in charge of our development, uh, Boris, myself, and then Mario, our CFO. The next level down is our actual departments. As you can see, the green colored Dorian is in charge of product development. And as I mentioned a few minutes before, uh, the complexity of this product development uh, department is such that Dorian has a lot of, on his plate. So his position is related to that department only, which is exactly the same case with Mario, who is our CFO. So under my supervision are following departments, and we call this a business unit. So separate from finance and product development, our customer support, which also partially reports obviously for, ob for obvious reasons to a technical department, then marketing and PR, social media, Telegram community management domestic, Telegram community management international, business development, our fund. And these are the departments that are separate units that have their own personnel and heads of departments. After that, we have operational partners. Those are color coded with who they belong to. The green ones belong to product development, the gray ones belong to marketing, and the red ones to financial and legal and compliance department. Those are the outsourced companies that we work with on a daily basis. And that's why we call them operational because our daily operation would not be possible without them. Then we have a group of general partners like our listing companies, KuCoin and Gate, and several other uh, projects that we work on with Cardano Foundation uh, and so on. And then the final, the last but not the least group is our group of top tier advisors for any aspect of our company from crypto to application development to marketing, etc. So that was an overview of our internal organization and external and its interactions. Today, Revuto has 24 people dedicated to this project. There are 10 advisors, three interns, as you could see, 20 plus partners, and we're still growing. 40 plus people today are working on the best product and are at your service at all times. Thank you.